everybody, it is Margaret, Texas Gal Treasures, and welcome to my channel where we're all about laughing and learning about different ways to make and save money. So you are in the right place. In this video, I'll be sharing with you how to set up your Printful account to integrate with your Etsy store. So to start off, if you don't have an Etsy store, you can get signed up and earn 40 free listings if you use the link that I have linked right below. So click on that link, you'll get 40 free listings. And as a bonus, I'll get 40 free listings as well. So you can get your shop set up for free. Each listing is 20 cents after that. So 40 free listings is the way to go. So let's get started on how to integrate your Printful account with your Etsy shop to start selling your print on demand items through that integration. So here is my Texas Gal Designs site. Now I would suggest many of my viewers that are resellers that are selling vintage items, supplies, and things like that, you might consider setting up a separate store. So this is my store where I have digital downloads. I'm going to be including my print-on-demand items as well. So as you can see, I've already added one and I went through the process so I could make sure to show you how to do it correctly and I wanted to share with you the process now. So again, get those 40 free listings by clicking the link below and let's get started. All right, so welcome to Printful. All you have to do is sign in with your name, email, and create a password and you are ready to go. So there are lots of videos throughout that you can watch that are really clear about how they work and how you can get started. So there's those. So when you get to Printful, there is an, an Etsy print products fulfillment page where it talks to you all about how Printful and Etsy and how easy it is to, to do this. So you can read through all of this and watch the video about how to do these things as well. So I really suggest that you do that. So you set up, you connect to your Etsy shop, which I've already done. Again, if you're interested, click on the link below to get those 40 free listings. It only works with new Etsy shops. So if you're already reselling, I really suggest setting up a separate one um, where you can use this link to create a new Etsy store and get 40 free listings. So here we go, we are ready. So from the Printful landing page, you'll go to stores. And once you have your Etsy store set up there, you will select add to add a new listing. And there are all these different things that you can add to your Etsy store. I'm starting with shirts because that's what I'm familiar with. But from there, I can add mugs and pillows and other things as well. So let's click on shirts, t-shirts. And then I'm going with the Bella and Canvas shirt. So now I upload my design. So I chose a design that we created on one of my recent videos where we create a shirt from start to finish and upload it on Amazon, uh, Merch by Amazon. So I want to integrate this as well. So I can change the size on here, make it bigger, make it smaller, and move it around until it's where I like it, which there it is. So Junior Varsity Motor Boating Team is the shirt we're going with. I can also select different colors of shirts. I will probably choose five or six, probably five. Um, you can choose more. And when you get to Etsy, there's a spot, um, you're able to have 10 different designs. So that might be something to think about too. My only worry is with more options, it, there's that, that chance that they might be overwhelmed. The buyer might be overwhelmed with too many options and might click away. So I will select a few different colors. Let's go with some darker, let's see, asphalt. How does that one look? That one looks, I'm trying to think of who's going to wear this and what color they might like to wear. I've got my eight shirts. I scroll down and these are, it lets me know my print quality is good, okay. Um, these are my different options. So I think we are ready down here. Okay, so I had some colors that came up as discontinued and what I did was just choose a different color. Um, so I had brown or navy, they are discontinued in these sizes 3X and 4XL. So what I did was just took that color option off and chose something else. Now I could just remove the ability to order 3X or 4XL, but I, I don't want to do that because there are people of all sizes. So I'm just knocking out those colors and choosing something that is all inclusive. So then we will proceed to mock-ups. I can choose for my shirt to look like a flat front like so or I can have it uh, like a wrinkle front. So I'm choosing the wrinkle front because I like the way it looks a little bit better. It looks like a actual shirt. And then here's where we add our description and our product title. They have filled in theirs already. So I'll leave that in there and I just add on what I want to. 
So I pulled up my Amazon listing over here and I am copying and I will adjust it from there. So I'm not going to leave it exactly, exactly the same, but it gives me a good jumping off point. And I'm selecting my descriptions that I filled out with all of my keywords. But again, I'm not going to leave it just like this. I am going to change it up some when I get to Etsy. But just want to have all those keywords and things. Now, you could also... There are some shirts that maybe you wouldn't upload to Amazon or couldn't for different reasons that you might be able to do for Printful and Etsy integration. So not you don't have to do you know the shirts that you have on Amazon. It can be anything, right? Here we have got the prices to edit. So this is the Printful price. This is the price that shows up on Etsy. And then this is the profit that you get when a shirt sells. And the, another thing to keep in mind is that on Etsy, the, when a, an item sells, they have a 3.5% fee off of those items. So it'll be a little bit less than this as well. So I like these prices. I'm going to go ahead and keep them there and submit to store. Now it is uploading to my store. And when it's ready, it goes into draft. So I can go in and edit it from there because there are a few extra things that I need to tweak once I get it onto Etsy. So now it's done uploading to Etsy, I can select edit in Etsy. Here are the photos. As you can see, you could have up to 10. I chose eight for this one, wait, four, seven, I chose seven for this one. And I'm going to adjust my thumbnail. I want to show you how I did it on my last one. I want that image to be up close and personal, but I also want the buyer to see that it's on a t-shirt. So I made sure that the image is centered and that you can see still the arms and the neck on the shirt as well. If I have it pushed further back like so, it's a little bit harder to see what the item is. I also want to select a shirt that will be eye-catching. So maybe I'll do a black shirt with the white so that it will show up a little bit better. So let's adjust this thumbnail. I want to increase it and then slide it around so we can see that it is centered and that we can also see arms and that it's a shirt. So maybe a little bit further back like so and save. Then I will come and attack my title. Now I did this shirt already so I could come over and copy and paste which I might copy and paste it and, uh, and then adjust it a little bit. So I kept my title from Amazon and then I added on to that because again Etsy allows you to have a lot more characters for their title. So Junior Varsity Motor Boating Team T-shirt, Novelty Frat T Motor Boating Team shirt, and then I kept on their unisex short sleeve T-shirt print on demand shirt. I don't know, I might just leave it. So I'm gonna leave it like that. They fill in for you, thankfully, all of the descriptors. Here is where I changed it up again down here. I wanted it to sound, I, I did my bullets a little differently than I would for Etsy. So I'll just copy what I have over here and fill it in over here because I grammatically changed some things when I put it over onto Etsy. I left the descriptors of the shirt in there as well. So another thing that you need to do when you get to this point is to select a section and I created a section called unisex shirts. You can always change these around later. So I might have mugs, I might have, you know, and then the other things I have on here are digital download um, products. So there's that. So the tags I want are, these are the things that people would search for to find my shirt. So I would put something like novelty t-shirt, uh, funny guy shirt, motor boating shirt, and then I'm going to separate it. Also, so who is this? Um, maybe the guys are going out for their bachelor parties. There we go. So I really recommend you filling in all 13 tags and make it something that is going to be uh, something someone search, would search for. So if you just put t-shirt, well, that's going to pull up how many t-shirts. So something a little more specific that someone might be searching for. All right, so there we go. They have already filled in the prices and the colors for me all the variations, so you don't really have to do anything there. They also filled in the product shipping, so you don't really have to do anything there. And then we are ready to submit. Now again, this is 20 cents, and if you wanna get your first 40 listings free when you set up a new shop on Etsy, click on that link below, 
uh, you'll get 40 free to start off with. Okay, so my listing is now active. So when you create a listing on Etsy, it is good for four months. So that 20 cents is basically a nickel a month. So it's really, really cheap. So here we have got our shirt ready to go on Etsy. I'll keep you guys posted on how my Printful and Etsy integration is going and how my sales go with that. I will also keep you posted on the different items that I upload to my Etsy store through the Printful integration. I want to find out more about the hats, the embroidery, because I know there are different specifications for that, but I'm pretty excited about that as well as the socks. So super fun. All right, I'll keep you guys posted. Let me know down in the comment section below if you have done any Printful integration, whether with Etsy, your own website, or another platform. If you are new here, welcome, and check out that comment section down below because frequently there's lots of great tips and ideas that are shared by the friends and followers of the channel. Go over there and hit that thumbs up and the subscribe button, and if you're interested, I frequently do live videos and tutorials, so hit the little bell to know when I go live. Thank you so much, everybody, for coming over to watch, and I will see you on the next one. Bye everyone.